Hey y'all. Um, okay. Take two. Um, we tried this last night and there were some crazy, I have no idea why they happened, technical difficulties. So we're going to do it again. Um, luckily it's one of my favorite subjects, so I don't mind talking to y'all. Um, old and new people alike. Again, if you watched it last night, thanks for bearing with me. If you're watching today or on the replay, hopefully everything's going to be smooth sailing and we won't have to worry about screens going sideways and all kinds of other kooky, crazy things. So welcome. Um, I'm Krista Bridges, if you do not know me. Um, and I just want to say, hey, and I'm so glad that you guys are taking time out to learn more about how to better take care of you and how to better take care of the people that you love because that is my passion um, and part of my purpose, I feel like. So, welcome. Um, we have been using Young Living Oils. They're behind me um, for over three years. We started them because we were struggling in our house um, with a lot of stuff. Um, my my 10 then seven year old was struggling with crazy crazy seasonal stuff um and we had tried everything everything um on the market everything prescription everything non um we just we we were beating our head against the wall because he wasn't finding relief from any of it and so um my friend my hippie crunchy which I totally am now, but I wasn't then. She called and she was like, um, I can't believe you haven't tried these oils. Enter Young Living. I was like, duh, I'll do it now. So I went home and told Dow, my husband, you know, we're going to get these oils and they're going to be awesome. I'm kidding. I didn't actually think they were going to work, but I am always a trier. Like I give things a, a good shot. So we got them and y'all, they, they totally changed our lives in super crazy ways. Um, we found better sleep, less stress, better digestion, um, better health and wellness. My two kids have been to the doctor for a sick visit once each in three years. So, and they're seven and 10 now. So that's pretty crazy. Um, they, they help keep us well. They help keep our bodies working the way that God designed our bodies to work. And, um, so we were kind of all in, I mean, when, when things not only, ch when you feel a difference, that's great, but when things change your kids' lives, um, you, you keep it up, right? It's like self-fulfilling. You just keep it up because you, you want the best for them. Um, so that was the beginning of our journey and then it's progressed since then. So it started with oils and then I found out. Some awesome, I'm kidding, it's not awesome, some news, right? Some statistics about this wonderful country that I do love, that we live in, um, but it's jacked up in a lot of ways. Um, and the three statistics that I learned that completely rocked my world were that cancer is the number two cause of death in America, but nowhere else. Y'all, that's kind of crazy, right? We have the best healthcare system and the best opportunities and the best, you know, ac we have access to things that no other countries have, but we're dying of cancer more than anyone else. And that's cuckoo crazy. Okay. Second, the American Cancer Society says that all that cancer in America, um, out of all that cancer in America, um, five to 10% of it is genetic. Okay. So do the math. That means that 90 to 95% is environmentally based. It's, it's not genetic, right? So it's in large part preventable. It's stuff that we, a lot of it we have control over, but we just don't know that the stuff that we're using now is damaging our bodies and damaging our immune systems and causing cancer and ADHD and you know, other focus problems and asthma and all kinds of wonderful um, issues that we are facing, hormone problems. They keep popping in my head. Um, the third statistic is the EPA did a 17 year study and they found that if you are a woman who does not work outside of your home, you have a 54% higher chance of getting cancer than a woman who leaves her house every day. Y'all, does that like, 
Is that weird to anybody else when you when you hear that kind of statistic? That's cuckoo crazy. I think I already said that today, but it really is cuckoo. Um, so why is that? Why why are you more at risk in your house than you are outside of your house? Well, it's because unless you've taken drastic measures, right? Unless unless now I have friends, and I said this last night. I have friends that before oils, they're like crunchy natural DIY people. I am not. I don't I don't naturally I don't like to shave bars of soap to make stuff. I don't I don't just I don't do that. Um so I was buying, you know, whatever garbage was on sale at Walmart. Um, you know, clean ocean breeze, crisp, fresh cotton. Y'all cotton, by the way, I live in Brooklyn. There's cotton all over the place. It does not have a lovely smell on the shelf at Walmart. It's not the same thing. So anyway, just my, I learned that. Um, so I was using total garbage and I found out after looking at the back of those wonderful bottles that I had in my laundry room, in my bathroom, in my, under my kitchen sink, um, and Googling a few of those ingredients that I couldn't pronounce, those things cause cancer. Those things cause hormone problems. Um, infertility, asthma, ADHD, focus problems, I mean, um, neurological problems. I mean, you just name it, and those toxins, um, they cause it, and it's just not right. Um, did, and this is another crazy, did you know that the air inside your house is up to five to ten times more toxic than the air outside of your house? So, first, pause and go open a window. You can't pause it's live, so don't do that yet. Just breathe and open a window later. But y'all, that's because the stuff that we're, our houses aren't ventilated, right? So the stuff that we're using, the nasty stuff we put on our floor and on our clothes and on our bodies and on our skin, all that stuff that we use, that if you're spraying stuff in your house, it's bad. <laughs> and it doesn't leave. It just stays in here. So we just breathe it and breathe it over and over and over again, and it's not good. Okay. So that's the bad news, um, and it's overwhelming sometimes, and it's a little bit scary, but just because, and that's how I felt too, but just because it's overwhelming and just because it's scary doesn't make it not true, and it doesn't mean we don't need to do something about it, and so that's why I'm here, because it's not as hard as you think. It's not as overwhelming as you think it's going to be to just start taking baby steps to getting the stuff cleaned up in your environment, right? So step one is clean the air, right? Clean the stuff that we're breathing in. So if you are like my Aunt Paula Sue, and around this time of year you get out your pot and you put in your orange slices and your cloves and your cinnamon sticks, guess what, you guys, that is not toxic, but I was not doing that. I got that same scent that's like a carcinogen and I plugged it into my wall, okay? I don't do that anymore. It's bad stuff. It's not good for you. So if you're doing what I do, you got to ditch that stuff and you got to get some diffusers. So this is the starter kit Ta -da! behind me. All that is 160 bucks. And that's kind of what we're going to talk about today because that's how you start. That's how you start your, your journey. So get yourself some oils and a diffuser and start diffusing. Um, so what are oils? They are the goody of the plant. They're the lifeblood of the plant. Um, and they are distilled and cold pressed from all different kinds of parts of the plants and the roots and the stems and the leaves and all that stuff. Um, and when that is done properly, that's important though, when it's done properly um, and those plants maintain the constituents that are good for our bodies, um, they promote proper function of every single body system. That's good news, right? Um, hopefully I'm back. Uh, my phone just rang. The big difference between meds and oils is that modern meds typically cover up symptoms and oils go in and restore system function, right? So do not hear this wrong. First of all, if I didn't say this first, not a doctor, okay? You gotta talk to your doctor if you have questions about this stuff because I am a mama. Um, I'm not a doctor, but sometimes we need symptom cover up, right? To get through the day. Sometimes you got to have like the last, I mean, several summers ago when I had like bacterial pneumonia, 
I needed modern meds, right? I wanted a big shot in my... Anyway, um, but our goal should not be system, I mean, symptom cover-up because that just lasts for a minute, right? And we want our bodies to work the way they were designed to work. The way God made them is proper function. But what we do is we don't eat right. We don't, we, we fill our houses um, with toxins and we don't sleep enough. And so we just jack everything up, right? We, uh, my, my Jack hates that his word is a negative verb I use all the time, but that's what we do. We jack it up and we kind of hijack the way our bodies are supposed to work. And these oils just help, help get us going back on the right track and help get things working the way that they're supposed to work. Um, so why Young Living oils? Because you guys, when I started using oils three years ago, luckily I just landed on the most trusted essential oil company on the planet. Okay. That's, that's what Young Living is. I just, it was because my good friend used them. So I just happened upon those. Um, but purity, purity is why Young Living, right? We are the only company, we have nine um, company owned farms and then we have partner farms um, that, that meet our standards all over the globe. Um, and so no other company can tell you that. We also have a promise of purity and integrity and it's called Seed to Seal. Well, that's the promise, Seed to Seal. But there's a website called seedtoseal.com and you can go there and you can see the crazy lengths that Young Living goes to that they don't have to go to, but they do it because they're, um, they're about purpose and they're not about profit. And so they wanna provide you with the best um, and it's not about the money, it's about the purity of the product. Um, and that's what you get when you use Young Living um, oils. So the oils that you find anywhere else, on any shelf, anywhere, online, on Amazon, um, or from any other you know place, um, they're not governed by the FDA. So for an oil to say 100% pure, organic, lavender, um, it has to have five to 10% actual lavender oil in that bottle for it to be labeled 100% pure. Cuckoo crazy, that's just gonna be my word today. That's, that's a lie and it bugs the stew out of me. Um, so what they're saying is there's actual lavender somewhere in that bottle and that lavender is 100% pure, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't have other things and synthetic parts and they cut it with carrier, not to mention the fact that you don't even know where that lavender was grown, what the conditions were like. Did they use pesticides and chemicals all over the crop? Probably, why? Because they would get more lavender and make more money. But you guys, you can go to the farm. You can go to the Young Living Farm, whether you're a member or whether you're not, and you can walk through and you can see the seed to seal process. You can see the purity being not being compromised in these plants so that they can give your body the most benefit that is possible under the sun. Um, so that's why Young Living, all right? Now let's talk about how we use oils. Um, so there's three ways and it's pretty simple, but you're not gonna, it doesn't, you know, it's a journey. I'll keep saying that too, it's a journey. So aromatically, smell. Um, topically and internally. Those are the three ways we use them. Aromatically, luckily, with this awesome starter kit, you get this diffuser. You either get a dew drop diffuser, the home diffuser looks like this. Um, one of my very favorites is the rainstone diffuser. Looks like this. Anyway, um, that determines the price of your starter kit, the diffuser you pick. But that's aromatic use. You can put a few drops and some water in this thing and turn it on and it disperses the oils into the air. And so everybody benefits from that. You can also just take an oil and smell it straight out of the bottle, or you can put it in your hand, just drip a drip in your hand and rub it. And someone made up this term and it wasn't me and it's called a scent tent. How fun is that? Make a scent tent, breathe in slowly and deeply like three times. And this is what's really awesome about aromatic use. When you breathe in, it goes directly to the limbic system of your brain. And guess what's processed in the limbic system of your brain? Your emotions. So you can calm down in like 26 seconds from smelling an oil. So don't, don't pop a pill. <laughs> Just smell. Smell something and let it go to that emotional center of your brain and let it calm you down. 
or let it invigorate you. Let it give you, you know, some drive and some energy because they're so versatile and they can, there's, you know, there's an oil for all that. Um, so aromatic is probably one of my favorite ways. Um, and aromatic reminds us that everything we're breathing is also going in and going into our brain. So we don't want to be um, poisoning ourselves with the air that we breathe. We want to be purifying the air that we breathe and making it a good thing, not a bad thing. Um, the other use is, second use is topical. So you just put oil right in your hand and you put it wherever. So you, I like to put my emotional and my calming and all these oils on the back of my neck. I like to drop oil on the crown of my head. I um, put it through my hair, so my hair acts as a diffuser, um, and then I put it wherever. Um, feet is the very best go-to start place for oils because you have the most nerve endings and the biggest pores on the bottoms of your feet, but your feet skin's pretty tough. So if you've got a um, stronger oil like peppermint or thieves, um, it's not gonna like, your feet aren't sensitive, right? So it's not gonna bother them. Um, other great places are spine and pulse points. So like behind your ears, or on your wrist, places like that, those are great places. Um, always start with a carrier oil if you're new to oils and if you need to make sure that your skin's gonna not be sensitive um, and that you can just put some carrier oil in your hand. Young Living has a great carrier oil called V6 oil um, or you can just use coconut oil. I thought I had one sitting here somewhere. I probably do. Yep, I do. Um, so I get big coconut, organic coconut oil because we cook with it too. But then I just take these little baby mason jars and I just scoop some in here, right? And I keep it out so that just makes it easy. So you can just take this and get some oil out and rub it on, add your essential oil and just use the carrier oil with the oil. So that's not gonna decrease the effectiveness, but it will slow the absorption, which is, which is something that um, you should do when you start. So just start start low and go slow um, when it comes to using your oils because they can be powerful. So you need to listen to your body and um, see what it feels like. So, and if you're having tummy issues, rub oil on your tummy. If you're having, you know, if your knee hurts, put some oil on your knee. So it just put it where it makes sense and just use caution and, and listen to your body. The last one is internally. So Young Living has um, specific oils that are labeled for internal use, um, and they are Vitality, so they have a white label. The other labels are colored, so like this is actually lime and peppermint, not peppermint and peppermint, but this is the Vitality line, and you'll have Vitality oils in that starter kit, and then this is a regular label. Um, so the oil in the Vitality bottles is the exact same oil that's in its counterpart, right? It's non-Vitality Brother. Um, the reason that we made Vitality labels is because the FDA said you can't label something for topical use and claim um, system support, right? So peppermint is great for your digestive system, but what they said is anything that's labeled topical, topical use is a cosmetic. And you can't say a cosmetic is good for your digestive system. So Gary Young or somebody on his brilliant team said, okay, and they made a brand new. Here's, I'll actually get the peppermint. So this is peppermint. This is peppermint. Same exact thing inside the bottle. But this one says digestive system support. You know, put it in your water put a drop in a capsule, take it internally, and it will provide system support. And this one says, you know, use it topically and aromatically. You guys, these are the same exact oils, so don't fret over the label. Um, when you're taking them internally, sorry, when you're taking them internally, Young Living has these capsules. These are veggie capsules. Um, and this is how we make, so Jack takes like a little allergy bomb every day. So I put some lemon, lemon lavender, peppermint, and copaiba, a few drops of those in here put a little grapeseed oil with it and down the hatch. And so this is the, one of our favorite ways to take our oils internally, but you can also cook with them. I put them in my water. Um, I add them, this is Ningxia, um, my very, very, very favorite juice. I just mix it with half water and I add oils to that. Um, and I kind of sip on it when I can. So that's internal use, all right?
that's how we use our oils. And when you do, I mean, we have videos and helping things that help you along the way. So whenever you have questions, you just ask and we will um, get you on the right track. So now let's talk about the premium starter kit because that's the most common way that people get started and get their membership so that they can buy oils at a discount. Um, so this is the starter kit behind me. It comes with, we're gonna start talking about with peppermint, so I'll leave it out. It comes with these 10 oils plus Stress Away, um, a diffuser, and then some Ninksha samples and some share bottles and some other samples and a roller filament, and we'll talk about all that in just a second. I'm just gonna go through and tell you some of my favorite uses for these oils, but please hear me. You're never gonna remember everything I'm telling you, and I'm not gonna tell you everything that these oils are capable of because I'm still learning. Like they, they're they so versatile and they help with so many things. So I'm just gonna kinda of read you what I wrote down, my favorite like uses, um, so that you have an idea of how powerful and how versatile they are. Um, so peppermint is, if I had to live with only one oil, I think it might be peppermint. Um, but I love all these oils, specifically these starter kit oils, and I probably have like 180 different oils now after three years. But people, somebody actually just asked me, I'm going on a trip, what oils should I take with me? Like top 10 oils is what she said. And I said, the starter kit, like that's easy. Um, those are my favorite, most versatile oils even three years later. So peppermint, digestive support, gastrointestinal discomfort, um, healthy bowel function, healthy gut function. So you can see it's a great oil for digestion. It also opens up your airwaves. Airwaves? No, airways. <laughs> but it opens you up so you can breathe and it's great for energy and focus. So I put a drop of peppermint in my coffee every single morning because peppermint wakes me up and coffee, caffeine does not. Um, and it's also amazing for any kind of discomfort. So you can put it on your knees, um, you can put it on your head. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite oil to put on my head. Um, it, it's amazing. Next up is lavender. So you guys have heard about lavender, but usually what you're buying in the store isn't actually lavender, it's lavender. Um, there's two thirds more lavender sold in the world than is grown, right? So that doesn't make sense, do the math on that you don't know what you're getting. Um, but with a company that's been around for 25 years, you know what you're getting, you're getting lavender. Um, this is our bedtime must have, so it's our calming, it's our um, occasional anxiety, like just bring it down a notch. Um, it's also great for skin support, cuts, scrapes, burns. Um, oh my gosh, lavender and coconut oil on a burn is amazing. And it's huge in our for our seasonal sniffles, so it dries stuff up. It's amazing for that. Next, lemon. Lemon is another powerhouse oil. So simple, amazing smell. I mean, like just diffuse lemon in your kitchen, and people will walk in and think it's clean, even if it's not. Um, so now y'all know why my kitchen might smell like lemon. Um, so lemon is an amazing, um, immune support oil. It is also, um, what else? It's good for your digestive system. It also thins fluid, removes stains. I mean, what, what does lemon oil not do? I don't know. It does everything. So use it for everything. So sticky stuff like, you know, picture frame stickers, um, or price tags, right? That you can't get off lemon oil, drop it on there and like, wait a minute or two. And then you can literally shoo, Wipe it off. Um, bubble gum in your hair, bubble gum on your socks. Why do I know this? Because Charlotte, um, we've used it for all that stuff. Tar, pine tar, pine sap on your feet. We've used lemon oil. I have pictures to prove it. <laughs> but it will literally, like stuff that you cannot imagine the sticky coming off, you can put lemon oil on it and it literally slides off. And it so it thins fluid. So when you get this gunk, here and you drink and drink and drink and it won't go away, put some lemon in your water, lemon drops, and then rub lemon on the outside of your throat and it will just flush. It's amazing at detoxing the body. It's good for tons of stuff. I love, love, love lemon in my water. Um, careful with citrus oils because, well, we're getting into winter, so that's good, but don't put them all over you and then go to the beach or the river because they are photosensitive. So they will cause you to absorb more of the sun than you typically would and you could burn. 
and then you would get out your lavender. <laughs> um, frankincense is next. Frankincense is the baby Jesus oil. So it's amazing, right? Um, I think of frankincense as my oil of restoration. So it restores all things. So it restores your body. It restores your, your mind. It restores your spirit. I love frankincense when I'm doing my quiet time in the morning. It seems to just help me grounded, at, but uplifted at the same time. And it just keeps me focused, which if you know me, you know that that is one of my challenges. Um, so I just love frankincense for so many things. It's in all of Young Living's um, like brain and focus oil blends. Frankincense is in there and it's in all of our beauty products. So lines and wrinkles and discolorations, all that stuff. Frankincense, frankincense, frankincense. So people say, when in doubt, take Frank out. Um, so frankincense is one of our favorites. It's Jack's very, very, very favorite oil. Copaiba is next. This is a tree. Copaiba is another, just another powerhouse. You can use it to layer on other oils and it can help increase the effectiveness. So if you have pain and you use pan away, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, you can put pan away on there and then you can top it with copaiba and then even peppermint after that and it will just help drive it in. It is also good for skin, good for respiratory support, all kinds of stuff. Um, it's an awesome powerhouse. It also has constituents. You know that, I can't remember what it's called, that cannabis oil that's really popular now? Well, one of the main constituents that's calming in that Copaiba has more of. I don't even know what it's called, but I can look it up if you want me to. So it's a very calming and grounding oil as well. Copaiba is great. Dajaz, where's where's Mr. Okay, here's Dajaz. Okay, that's not going to be your perfume. It is it has a very strong, interesting smell um, that most people aren't attracted to initially. But this guy right here is your tummy's best friend. Once you use Digest for tummy discomfort of any kind, you'll never, ever, 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 ever run out because you want him close by. Um, and this is why oils are so cool, right? System restoration, system function. Um, so if you can't go to the bathroom, you use Digest. If you go too much, you use Digest, right? It just does what the body needs it to do to promote system function. It doesn't, it's not a Band-Aid that covers stuff up. So it's amazing. Um, so Dijaz is your tummy oil. Um, you can either use it topically or you can, um, so tummy or feet, or you can put it in one of those capsules I was showing you and you can take it with a, like Dow, my husband, takes um, a little bit of Dijaz lemon and peppermint at nighttime just to help his system function better than it normally would. Um, thieves is the Young Living calling card. So if you don't know the story of Thieves, the reason it's called Thieves is because when the Black Plague was going through Europe in the, I think, 15th century, 15th or 16th, um, and everyone was dying, there were spice traders and their family were like apothecaries. And so they knew the healing and the power and the protective benefits of plants and oils. And so they coated themselves in a spice blend they robbed the dead and the dying, and they didn't catch the plague. So, in exchange for leniency, they asked them to disclose their recipe or, you know, what they used. And that's what's in Thieves. So, that's why it's called Thieves. And so, Thieves is your immunity powerhouse. Like, this, this boosts your immunity like nothing else. So, we use this in a wellness blend, and I can get you that recipe, but we use this in a wellness blend on the bottom of my kids' feet every day single day of the fall and winter to boost their immune systems because we know that in the fall and winter we're around more people we're eating more junk which compromises our immune systems too the sugar does which is why digest comes back into play but anyway um we're more there's more junk going around um so that's when we use our thieves the most and then if charlotte comes home and says you know Susie Jo threw up on the rug at school right beside me, then we use it more. Like, we use it three times a day instead of one time a day. So Thieves is also great for respiration, and it's also amazing to smell. So it's perfect for fall and winter when you're, when you're trying to fight the bugs and germs away because it has cinnamon and rosemary and lemon and eucalyptus and something else. Um, there's five oils in it. We'll look it up later. But anyway... It's really yummy. Next, RC. 
So RC is your respiratory control oil. So it's got lots of eucalyptus and pine and spruce and it's yummy. Um, it's yummy just to smell, but it's specifically for your respiratory system support. So whether it be before you go exercise or because you can't breathe, you know, whatever kind of support you need, then that's going to provide it. So RC is really good for that. Apparently it's good to go outside with too. It might repel um, pests. What's next? Pain away. Pain away. Muscles and joints love pain away. Backs love pain away. Necks that are tense love pain away. Um, so this oil is your, your joint and muscle BFF. It, it, it's amazing. Um, and over time, it can restore systems that you thought you couldn't even touch anymore. So that smells like all natural Bengay. It's just got wintergreen and some other really crazy supporting oils in it. And it is amazing. Um, this is Dow's favorite back oil and my favorite neck oil. So that tells you what that one's for. And then purification is your stinky be gone oil. So purification will get rid of any stank anywhere. And I mean, Georgia shrimp spilled in your freezer stink or my 10 year old shoes. I mean, not my 10 year old shoes, but my 10 year old's shoes, stinky smell. Um, put a cotton ball on and some purification, put it in the bottom of your trash can and it keeps your trash can fresh. Um, put a cotton ball in the shoes um, and just let it eat. It literally just eats up odor. So I love this one to diffuse in my bathroom. I love it in my laundry room. I love it in general, um, in my everywhere. And when I, okay, so some of my favorites to mix with purification, purification and lime is amazing. Purification and lemon and purification and peppermint are all three. Um, those are some of my favorites to diffuse and it cleans and purifies the air. So it's great if somebody's coming down with something, you want to just keep the air clean, um, that cleans it out. So that's those 10, you get all of those and you get stress away and stress away. I mean, I don't really have to tell y'all what stress away is for. It's for stress away, be gone. Um, this one, my kids like to be funny and bring this to me sometimes. That's when they're brave. And sometimes stupid, but now we're at a point where it makes us laugh. So when my head's about to spin around, um, Jack will be funny and be like, I think you might need this. Um, and he's right. So this is just one of those things that's amazing. It's actually not even out of the bottle, not my favorite smell, but like on the skin and in the diffuser, I do like it better. Um, but either way, it works. So I use it because of the benefits, not necessarily because of the smell. Um, but some people just bathe in it because they love the smell. I also like to put this in my hot tea with some honey, and I love it in a bath. So if you use oils in your bath, just keep some Epsom salts in your bathroom because, you know, the oil and the water won't mix. But you use the Epsom salt, put a couple drops of oil in there, and then that will disperse it. And you can soak in stress away and lavender and just chill. It is really, really, really therapeutic. Um, so don't run out of that one either. All right, that's everything. That's the whole starter kit. Um, and that's how you get started. The other thing that comes in the starter kit is, this is funny, you get two of these. I only have one because I actually stole one this morning and drank it. Um, so we drink this every single solitary day. Me, my husband, my kids, and when we feel like we're coming down with something, we just drink more. Um, this is... I mean, next to my peppermint oil and my starter kit oils, this is my next. I, I would get rid of probably some of the oils before I would stop taking this. If you take this stuff every, this is our vitamin, um, and it's in, it's made from the wolfberry. So we have a farm, a partner farm in China, in Ningxia, China. That's why it's called this, and um, that's where the wolfberry is harvested. And the wolfberry is just this crazy antioxidant fruit. So here, this gives you um, an an idea, a framework. So blueberries, you know, are crazy in antioxidants. And so antioxidants fight free radicals in our body. What do free radicals do? They cause disease and they accelerate the aging process. Okay, we don't want any of that. So we need to get rid of the free radicals that are going nuts in our bodies. Well, antioxidants do that. So let me just tell you, you cannot have a good enough diet to provide your body with all the antioxidants that you need. So you need foods that are, and juices and wolf berries that are high in antioxidants to, to get rid of those free radicals. So 
Blueberry is the most common one that everybody knows. So on the ORAC scale, which measures that ability to fight the free radicals, blueberries have a score of 500. Wolfberries have a score of 30,000. I didn't, and I didn't even make a mistake. That's right. 500 is the blueberry score. 30,000 is the wolfberry score. So what, this is two ounces. One ounce of this stuff is the equivalent of 814 organic blueberries. That's why we take it every day. <laughs> like, I'm not eating good enough to not drink this. Actually, even on a good day, you still need this. Even if you're eating leafy kale all day long, you need your Ninksha. So this is um, goes on my monthly order, which I'm gonna talk about now. So Young Living has um, an essential rewards program that you can start this overwhelming process of getting rid of the carcinogens and the toxins and the nastiness in your house because they know it's overwhelming. They gave us a way to make it to take baby steps, and that's through Essential Rewards. So, um, my Ninksha goes on my monthly order, and what that is, is like a monthly order that you get free stuff for. So, you get points back, and yes, kids can take it. Sorry, that's like the first thing I read. Um, so, if your kid can drink juice and eat table food, they can they can drink this and I say like depending on the kid my kids drink a half to a half an ounce to an ounce but mine are four and seven so if it's like a two year old like probably a, a quarter of an ounce I mean just like a sip a day is going to give them some great immune support um, so probably a quarter or a half an ounce a day is plenty so a little goes a long way um, and this is on our it's on our order every single month I buy it in an essential rewards like deal because that's the cheapest price per ounce and I'm all about saving pennies. Um, so this is on our order every single month and then there's some other supplements I mean that are on our order every single month and lemon, lavender, peppermint, thieves. Those are on our order every month too. So your um, when you start your monthly ordering, Young Living gives you points back and you earn free oils. It's just a fun way um, to start getting rid of the stuff that you have. So what I did is I didn't just create a Young Living budget. I instead took money from Walmart budget and put it into Young Living budget and that's called transfer buying. And that's that's why that works is because Young Living kind of pays you to do good for your family and not many people are helping us out like that. So take advantage of it. And it is, it's not like a lifetime sign and blood commitment. If you start it and you want to quit it, you just call and say, whatever. Um, I don't, I don't want anything this month. And then you just cancel it. It's not a big deal. Um, but it is a perk, right? It's, it's a get to, not a have to, which is what the starter kit is too. It's a get to. So when you get your starter kit, you get a membership. What does that mean? It means you get 24% off forever and ever. Amen. Um, does it mean you have to do essential rewards in order every month? No. Does it mean you have to pay a yearly membership fee? No. You can order the starter kit and you can walk away and never listen to me talk again. Um, and you would still have done something really good for your family. But let's not be silly and do that. Let's keep doing good things for our family and have fun and talk on live videos. Um, so if you have questions, please ask. Um, Otherwise, get with the person who invited you to watch this video. If that was me, get with me. If that was somebody else, do that. Because if you get your starter kit before Friday, um, you get gifts from me because you listen to me talk. Um, and so here are the gifts you get. Christmas spirit oil. You guys, I can't even tell you. How amazing this is I, I mean I go through this stuff starting about now um, it's amazing for your immune system so it smells like Christmas without cancer <laughs> that's good this is good so it boosts your immune system it clears your head um, and it smells like Christmas so it's amazing so you get this if you order your starter kit before Friday and you get this little mini quick reference tool that talks about oils and safety guidelines and some ailments in the back. It's what I keep in my purse. So this is just a handy dandy tool. You get both of these from me. If you start and you add ER, which is that monthly ordering, so you go ahead and tack on some stuff to that order, to your starter kit order, and you add your Ninksha and you add your 
Thieves Cleaner, which gets rid of every single... I just totally squirreled for a minute, but I'm going to do it anyway. This stuff gets rid of everything under your kitchen sink. We clean our floors, our wood floors, our countertops, our windows with different concentrations of this. This is a concentrate. One capful equals this. It's cheap. <laughs> like, it's super good for you, but it's cheap. Right? Just don't ask questions. Say thank you. Um, yeah. So, if you want to go ahead and add on your Thieves Cleaner and you want to go ahead and get some Ninksha Red, then you can go ahead and start your monthly ordering. And if you do that, um, then Dr. Cindy is going to send you an oil case, which is super fun. And Young Living is going to give you Cinnamon Bark Oil, which is like 24 bucks. Um, but it, you need like one drop in the diffuser and it smells amazing. Um, I think that's it. Then... After everybody gets their starter kits ordered before Friday, I'm going to do a drawing for two more things. Um, a huge oil Bible and a big old diffuser. This is not a Young Living diffuser, but it's like a big, big, big one. I was searching for a word and it didn't come. Um, so I'm going to do a drawing. If you order your premium starter kit, you get entered once. If you order your premium starter kit and you add ER, you're getting in there twice. Um, so that's for those lucky people who made the best choice ever. So let's just be real, right? Body systems don't die overnight. They die over and they break down because of years and years and years and years and years of bad choices. Um, Y'all, I still make bad choices all the time. Like when I drive through the Sonic, there's nothing good going in my body from Sonic, right? It's all toxic, but it tastes really good. And so sometimes I make a choice to be toxic. I still do it. Um, but my thing is the stuff that's easy um, to switch out, like the stuff that's super easy, that's the stuff I'm going to do because I don't want to be toxic because of my floor cleaner. I want to be toxic because of a corn dog. Does that make sense? So you make these switches so your life is cleaner and your body works better on stuff that's easy. Like my laundry soap now is Thieves Laundry Soap because the other stuff is bad for you. So I make switches that, that work for our family and I know that I'm doing them a favor and I know that I'm taking care of them the way that I'm supposed to. Not in all ways <laughs> in this area. So baby steps, right? It's all about baby steps. The other thing is you get put in our Facebook groups, you get access to tons of smart people, way smarter than me. Um, and we just kind of do life together and that's fun. Um, so welcome to our community and welcome to essential oils and young living and all the fun stuff. Um, I hope you guys learned something maybe that you didn't know before. And I can't wait for you to start your journey. Okay.